Welcome to episode 35 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by Team Associated Champions by Design. We thought there would be no better way to ring in the new year than to take a look back at some of the best moments in our seat. We saw a ton of long-awaited releases, insane on and off-road action, some weird things in the sky, and a few fire crashes. And with that said, here are some of our favorite clips from 2009. The hot news this week comes from Top Gun 2009. Our editors just came back from Lakeland, Florida, where they witnessed the best of the best in RC aircraft. This marked the 21st year of this world-class event, and some of RC's most amazing models, demos, and competitions were all on display last weekend. Deborah Claghorn and Jason Sams were on the scene. Check out some of the incredible footage. Guys at HPI Racing are always testing new products, and in this video, they're trying out a set of new paddle tires for the HPI Baja 5T. Check out the ridiculous airtime they're getting with these large scale trucks. And now here's something extra special for you Star Wars diehards. Based on the famous X-Wing fighter, the Digitronics RCX-4 Star Striker is a quad rotor heli designed in disguise. Just like the real X-Wing fighter from Star Wars, the Star Striker can take off vertically. By controlling the speed of the four geared motor that spin the mini rotor blades, you can fly forward, backward, and side to side. The built-in onboard electronics also give the RCX-4 amazing hovering stability. Check it out. Curious as to what a $6,000 fireball looks like? Check out our video pick of the week. Dude, I got, I got that. I got that. You may or may not know that Crana, Wisconsin is the world capital of off-road racing. We were just out there for the track's 40th anniversary and the Tractus Torque Series race. Let me tell you, it was unbelievable. The weekend was packed with both full-size and RC action. Well, the big news this summer is all about RC Car Action's own Kevin Himansky jumping a full-size school bus with a team-associated RC8 ready-to-run buggy. Do you think he actually made it? Be sure to check out the video at rccaraction.com. A lot of planning went into this momentous jump, and you can read all about it in the October issue of RC Car Action. Hi, I'm Kevin Himansky, and we're in Orange, Connecticut today at a local middle school. As you can see behind me, we got a bus back there and a ramp set up in front of it. We're going to go ahead and jump this bus with a team associated RCA RTR buggy.
The full-size Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is the Air Force's newest cargo aircraft. It measures 174 feet long and has a wingspan just under 170 feet. Designed to deliver troops and all types of cargo, the C-17 is operated by a crew of three. The Monster Scale RC Globemaster weighs in at 300 pounds and has a wingspan of over 20 feet. This is one model you have to see to believe. Check out this video from RC pilot David Shulman. Now here's some major news I know you've all been waiting for. Traxxas has just released word on their all-new Slash 4x4. It comes ready to run with a 2.4 GHz radio system and a 7-cell, 3000 milliamp battery pack and a wall charger. The Slash 4x4 is outfitted with eRevo fluid-filled discs, a Vlenion 3S brushless motor system, and its full-time four-wheel drive. It's also completely waterproof and has an all-new body with more scale lines. The truck will be available for the holidays and also be featured in the December issue of Radio Control Car Action. That does it for our last show of 2009. Remember to head to your local newsstand for the February issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. And be sure to head to rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for the hottest news in RC. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you in 2010.